in this very short video, I want to show you guys a new feature of Mesh Commander and Mesh Central 2, which is RMCP support. So what I'm going to do is, actually, I'm going to close this. I'm going to run Mesh Commander. And you'll notice that starting with this version, 050, there's little green dots on the left side here. And those indicate whether the machines are present on a network or not. And the way it's done is that Mesh Commander sends out RMCP pings to the machines, gets the answers back, and uses that to display the green, or eventually the red, if, um, if after a bunch of attempts, the machine never responds. So if I connect to a computer, um, I just want to go into network settings and just point out that here it says respond to ping ICMP and RMCP. So here you can turn it on or off, but by default it's on and I do recommend you leave it on because then you see these greens over here. Obviously, if you were to turn off RMCP on a remote machine, <clears throat> then it wouldn't show up anymore. The other thing is if you pull the plug or if the machine goes away from the network, it will take about a minute for these green uh, dots to turn red. And that's because right now the polling rate is uh, fixed at 20 seconds. And if you miss two polls, then uh, we, we basically uh, just switch it to red right there. So that's good. The other thing is if you don't want to deal with the traffic, you can go in the help button, uh, help menu, and remove scan for presence, and then the buttons will, the little uh, globes will be removed, and there's not going to be any uh, scanning anymore. So, and by the way, this works uh, if you if you add a machine or remove machines, then obviously it will start to stop sc scanning those machines. So, super useful. Um, the other feature is in the scan button here. We used to have a dialog box that was a little more complex and would scan using TCP. Now it uses RMCP scanning. So you set up your, you write the IP address range. You can put an IP address, a IP and mask, or a real range with a dash. So all three syntaxes are allowed. And then uh, for me, I have this version, this one here. You click scan and you see the machines respond really nice is that you get to see the machines with, with or without TLS and you get to see the non-activated machines. Um, and then you get to pick the machines you want. You click OK and they're added to the list. And of course you can right click here and edit the machine if you want. And you'll notice that the green uh, blob just showed up because the machines were pulled immediately. And also when you add them it automatically uh, sets up, it puts a version number that it got during the poll, and it sets up TLS or not TLS, depending on what information it had on the on the polling. So this is really nice. Um, you could, by the way, press the two, select the two, hit delete, if you didn't know that. So it's really nice because now I can just quickly scan all the machines, find my machines, my Intel EMT machines on the network, and add them very quickly. So that's good for Mesh Commander. The other thing I want to show is Mesh Central 2. So if you have Mesh Central 2, uh, just a quick reminder that you can create a mesh that has both agent or agentless. If you select agentless, then the machines don't have any agent on it, they're just AMT, and you can add them using Sira or local. Add local, you, you type in the username and password and so on of the machine. But now you can do scan network, and same dialog box that you just saw in mesh commander is now in mesh central 2 you can hit scan and it will take a little while the server here does the scan it figures out what's going on uh, and then gives the results back to the web page so obviously this can happen uh, this is not a scan done on the local network of the browser this is a scan done on the network of the server that's serving this web page <clears throat> so here again you can select multiple machines I click OK, and those machines will be added. And you'll notice that the machine says AMT, Intel AMT present, and that's because like Mesh Commander with the little green dots, here Mesh Central 2 also regularly scans the Intel AMT machines with RMCP, figures out uh, if they're present, and makes them uh, and shows them on the web page. So I'm going to delete the two devices I just I just added here, and one of the nice things is as soon as it's present, then I can click on a computer, go on desktop, click connect, and I see the, the, the remote computer's desktop right here. So that's it.
a quick demonstration of RMCP ping integration inside uh, Mesh Commander and Mesh Central 2. Thank you so much.